This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F-250 crew cab short bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. Um, it has uh, low miles, 130,698 actual miles. It was a repo from uh, American Federal Credit Union in Las Vegas. We purchased it, we brought it here, we do an inspection, my guys hand me this. Uh, says, let's see, runs, drives, looks great. Um, what'd we do to it? All eight glow plugs and harnesses, why? Scan showed two were bad, they're not expensive, so we did all of them with the harness. Um, because the two that were bad were pretty ratty, so we figured the other ones were probably following closely behind and figured we'd get in front of it. Um, and a detail, that's it. Um, I'm gonna walk around this truck. I'll point at stuff I see cosmetically that you might wanna look at closer in the uh, photo gallery. Um, when I get around the truck, I'll start it up, we'll go under the hood, we'll take off the oil cap, we'll look for a blow-by. Um, I will also look for uh, four stamps on the fenders and the course support that would indicate that no play, uh, parts have been replaced up front. Um, I will uh, show you the Kelly Blue Book, I'll show you the Carfax, I'll show you the title, everything I know about the vehicle. Um, it has, this is a little homemade deal. Uh, apparently he didn't want to buy an upper bumper cover, so he just ran some screws into it. Um, part of my job here is to point out the negatives. And in the Carfax, it'll say, I believe it says, it was an accident right front, that's probably this. Um, damaged front, I don't know, that, that looks like maybe it bumped into something here because it looks a little bit bowed like that, a little bit. I don't know if that's true or not. But uh, the damage is not an accident. This reported as an accident. Um, and that looks like what they did to repair the accident damage. Um, anyway, we will uh, look underneath the hood here in just a second to look for uh, Ford stamps and we'll find out if they replaced the fender or not. But basically it looks like they probably just bolted that down, screwed that in and called it a day. Um, and then I hate when people do this, but people love to paint the emblems black i hate that so but it's a pain in the ass to get that stuff off to paint off those things and by the time you get them off you ruin the chrome underneath so you almost have to buy brand new emblems so we just leave it alone try to keep the cost down so that you know you could you know if we bought emblems i think they're like 30 bucks a piece that goes into the price of the vehicle and i doubt that anyone's really going to care about that so we didn't buy them um Looks like at some point, see those lines right here? He had fender flares on it, which is probably pretty cool. That would look pretty good on this truck. He's got a he's got a little shock on the uh, on the tailgate. I was wondering why it was going down so slow. See? There you go. Interesting guy. Yeah, it had bushwhackers on it. Bushwhackers are those fender flares. You just see a little tiny light shade of the over outline of those. You can buy them on Amazon aftermarket and put them on. They're about 130 bucks for a set. And it'll probably look pretty good on this truck, if you care. All right. Let's see, what do we have here? We have, that's locked. That's unlocked. <laughs> All right, let's fire this guy up. 130,706 miles on the truck. Glow plugs are already warm. All right, let's go to the hood. It's already starting to get warm. We might get to 100 this weekend. We're baking that coronavirus. There's your Ford stamp there. Ford stamp right there. That's your Ford stamp right there. Cat sticker where they belong. Ford stamp on the hood. Ford stamp on the fender. So everything up here is original. So whatever happened was right here and apparently he just went with the original fender, uh, the upper bumper cover. Uh, didn't replace the fender. 
Doesn't look like he replaced the headlight either. It looks like he just, I don't know, who knows what, who knows what happened here. It was pretty minor. Uh, let's take off the oil cap. That's beautiful. No blow by at all. That's what you want. Right there, that matters. All right, let's see. Window, door lock. We do the seats and I'll show you this stuff. Forward, back, up, down, tilt forward, down, tilt up, and down. Here's your uh, Kelly Blue Book on the truck, okay? For a uh, short bed 05 XLT with 130,698 actual miles. Typical listing price would be 15.1 with a range of 12.3 to 16,000. All right, here's your Carfax. There's your VIN on the Carfax. Carfax blends the history and the Kelly Blue Book. They come up with a history-based val retail value of 15,190. Uh, this is a long Carfax, guys, so get ready. So the accident was reported 5.16 of 17, okay? Which we will go through. Here's the uh, VIN again. Should've closed the other door is what I should've done. I need to get that habit. The wind's blowing right through this thing right now. All right, so accident reported 51617, damage reported 32118. It might have been the same accident, they just, the insurance company just tagged it twice. Which reminds me, if you're not in a car accident and your car is fixable, don't report it to Carfax or, or, or to insurance companies because it just jacks up everybody's premiums for nothing when you bumped into a trash can and you want your bumper painted and they never pay for it. So it has great services here at the dealer this is a really good one uh looks to me it says here rear crankshaft oil uh seal replace all kinds of good services there and this thing has some theft history too uh in 12 11 of 12 it was stolen and recovered 315 of 13 and looks like the owner kept it he wanted it back it means that he liked the truck a lot Probably because they just finished doing all kinds of engine work on it and he wanted it back. I don't blame him. All right. And the same dealer keeps servicing it. Bum, bum, bum. Then it moves to Nevada. Uh-huh. And then here we have that damage report. Oh, this is an accident report. It says functional damage reported, so it drove away. Airbags did not deploy. And that's that. That's a damage report. I think that they meant the right front side, which is where the screws are. Uh, ba, 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 ba. That's that. Here is the title. This is the Nevada title. There's your VIN. Um, it was owned, lean holder, repo company was America First. Um, they sold to Wheel Kinetics. America First sold to Wheel Kinetics for 10 of 2020. Okay, so there you go seat ba, ba, ba. under there nothing going on there goal of these videos is really not to sell the truck it's to make sure that the right person buys the truck that they're well informed and there's no drama drama is not a good thing in our business all right we can't have it so we will do our utmost to make sure that the negatives are known about the vehicle that we sell uh, so that there's no drama a lot of our vehicles most of our vehicles will ship out of state we can't have them going to you know Minnesota we just sent one off to Bahamas, Captain Ron. <laughs> and uh, we can't have it going there and then have a problem because obviously it's impossible to get it back here. 
um, and the internet's a small world and not a good place to BS people. So we don't. So if there's something wrong and we know about it, um, and we inspect the crap out of these, especially 6.0s, we know them inside and out, um, we will tell you. Um, and there's so many people out there in the world that uh, see our vehicles online that we don't really have to worry about showing people the warts. There are plenty of people who are fine with whatever we tell them is wrong. So uh, we don't hesitate to do that. And if there's something wrong and we know, you will know. Like this, there's that little tiny hole right there. So it looks like somebody tried to seal it at some point. We got power pedals up. That's down. Let's go up again and see if they go up all the way. There you go. All right. Ugh. Yeah, it's about, I think it's like 94 or something today. They're calling for 99 on Sunday, which means got the pool all ready to roll. Got the tunes outside. Guest house refrigerator stocked. Let's do this. Summertime. Screw Corona. So your radio works fine. CD player, uh, changer, six disc changer. Air, I can attest to that. It actually matters uh, finally, and it is working great. Let's see, let me turn that down so you can hear me. There's tow on and off. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. What else? Windshield wipers, let's turn it down one. Down another one. See kind of how much of a delay we got here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it works fine. You have cruise control. You can't do it on a Ford unless you're moving. Um, ba -ba, trailer. Da -da -da. We don't have a trailer, so it'll say check trailer. There ain't one there. All right, let me see if I can get this gate to move a little bit here. There you go. Just had to move up a little bit there. All right, neutral. We're gonna go to four low. So it says low range four by four. And we're gonna go drive. That's definitely four low, that's granny gear. And reverse and four low. All right, and then dry, uh, neutral I mean. We'll go to four high. Low range goes away. Drive, perfect, and reverse and low, I mean at high, four wheel drive, boom. Neutral, now we're gonna go back to two wheel drive. Actuators are firing good. All right, now we're in two wheel drive again, and we'll go for a ride. All right, this truck is nice. Um, if you come to drive it home, you're gonna pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, could be zero, could be 10, could be two, whatever it is, your state tax rate, plus our city tax of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. If you decide to pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. Uh, once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, You'll have the vehicle shipped to you. You already have the title in the mailbox by the time the truck shows up by your shipper. And you'll go and get plates in your local motor vehicle. Very simple. If you need help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of the transaction and we can do that. Um, we can either tell you where to go to get it done yourself or we can do it for you. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle for your car loan if you need one. Or we can do a lot of things. All right, just let us know at the beginning. Uh, deposit is $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Um, once we have that deposit, it will no longer be for sale. Until we have it, it will be for sale regardless of what stage negotiations we're in. So, fire away. Uh, we can't be holding and waiting for, you know, people to talk to their wives or husbands or sons or brothers or whatever because there's literally, at one time, there's almost always at least a half a dozen people looking at, the, at any of our vehicles at one time, and any one of them could fire up a deposit and beat you. So, um, we let people know that. Uh, last part of every video, I say the same thing and I have for 14 years. This is where I should just hit the play button on a recording, but I don't know why I haven't come up.
come up with that good idea. Um, anyway, uh, we don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in all day. Uh, we don't have a attendant serving scones and popcorn. They got that at the auto mall, which is about a half a mile east of us, okay? They also have a really pretty location, which, you know, is expensive. All that stuff costs them money at the auto mall, and they move that right onto the price of the vehicle they're selling you, all right? They also know at the auto mall that if you buy this truck from them and it breaks, you're gonna come back and say, my truck's broken, I want it fixed. Whether it's day one or day 23, that's what's gonna happen. Um, they know that, so they add money for that also. Uh, they know that they don't want to pay for the repairs, so they're going to make you pay for your repairs, even if that doesn't need a repair, all right? <laughs> um, we're not charging you for the repairs because you're the owner on day one. Um, we give you this video, we drive it for you, we go through all the uh, buttons and all that stuff. We go through what we've done to it, what we know about it, the Carfax, the Kelly Blue Book, the title, so that you're extremely well informed. But what we can't tell you is when it's going to break. And when I say when, I mean when. There is no doubt this truck will break someday. It could be tomorrow, and it could be 10 years from now. Based on our experience with 6.0, which is extremely high experience level, um, this is a nice truck. It runs great, clearly serviced very well. But if I was Nostradamus, I would never buy a bad vehicle. I would never make a mistake buying a vehicle, and I have. Just ask my guys, all right? <laughs> so those trucks and vehicles don't make it online, but I do make mistakes. All right, and frankly, if something breaks in this truck, you're gonna write a check for it with all the money you save because you bought it from us. You're not paying for a location. We have razor wire. We have see the night vision cameras we got there. Uh, we have cops that we've asked to be around here. They're here all the time at night. Um, and we have plenty of uh, crackheads that kind of zombie around the neighborhood at night. That's what we got. So you're not paying for any of that because it's not that expensive, all right? Um, but uh, we try to keep the price down so that when something does break on your truck or your car or your SUV, whatever you buy from us, you can afford to fix it, all right? I think that's about it. Really nice truck, solid truck. Thank you for your time.